As well as writing and creating, part of the life of a writer involves growing an audience of readers, people to read our work. Now, this whole idea of writing and creating and growing that readership, it can become really challenging when we start to get impatient and we start to take action to try to make things happen really quickly, to make sales happen really quickly, to make our readers grow really quickly. So what I wanna look at today is how we can move beyond this place of impatience and create it in a way that feels right for us and also grow that readership in a way that feels right for for us as well. So let's dive in. I totally understand impatience. I haven't come across a single person who hasn't experienced it in their journey as a writer or an entrepreneur. I often experience it myself. And for me, it's always a reminder to come back and do deep personal work. Because here's the thing, the irony is if we are taking action from a place of impatience, we are actually going to slow down our results. And it's so interesting because we see so much content online that's saying how to grow a readership fast or how to get sales fast. And so, yeah, it's really understanding that we do want these things quickly. But here's the thing, if we're acting from a place of impatience, what we're doing is we are fixing ourselves in a place where we don't believe that we can be rewarded or we don't deserve that we can get reward. And that's often because the reason that we feel impatience has an element, an element of what I might refer to as suffering. And so we're suffering from something. We might be suffering from not having the sales that we want to have, or we might be in, in the life of a writer, we might be suffering because our writing is not progressing as fast as we want it. Maybe we're, you know, another year has gone by and we haven't finished our book, or we might be suffering because our audience online is growing really slowly. And an element of that suffering is that we don't have what we want. We don't have the sales that we want. We don't have the life that we want. And so if we take action based on the fact that we don't have what we want, there's a part of us that doesn't believe that we can have what we want. And so that's what the impatience is. We want a book sale to take us out of this uncomfortable place. We want to get a deal with an agent. We want to find a publisher from our book to take us out of the place that maybe perhaps doesn't believe that our dreams are going to come true. So you're getting a sense that the bottom line with this experience of impatience is not being happy with how things are. So if we're taking action from this place, from this place of not being happy with how things are, the action that we take is going to be tainted with that. We're going to be taking action perhaps feeling like I'm not happy with how things are, I feel really frustrated, I feel really demotivated. And so like, just listen, if you're taking action from a place of frustration or lack of motivation, it's going to really color the action that you're taking. And often when I'm working with a client around impatience or I'm working with a client who feels that their readership is growing really slowly, and we dig into this frustration or this impatience or this suffering or this lack of happiness, what we actually find is that they're not working in the way that they want to be working. They're not taking the specific action that they need to take in order to really connect with their readership online or in order to really have meaningful connection that's gonna bring about that growth in audience. So how do we start to undo this? Well, really coming back to the absolute basics. So when I'm working with a client in this area and it might be a writer, it might be more, I work a lot with entrepreneurs and so it might be someone who's selling services maybe as a coach or it, they might be a writer but they're selling courses or services as a writer. So what we really come back to is actually how they want to be feeling. 
So that's the beautiful antidote to impatience. So rather try than trying to take action and make something happen really fast to cure that feeling of impatience, we simply actually really focus on how they want to be feeling. And so what I'm teaching people is that you can have that feeling without having to have the book deal like yesterday or double your readership in 24 hours, which is impossible and we know deep down that that is impossible and that often exacerbates the impatience and it often leaves us really not wanting to take action because we think well there's no point taking action because what I want to get from this action is impossible so it's futile I'm going to simply lie on the sofa and tune into Netflix instead because that feels like way more satisfying in this moment so come back Come back to how you really want to feel. Think about your life as a writer or your life as a creative. How do you want to feel about the work that you're doing? Like really, truly on a day-to-day -day basis. How do you want to experience your readership? Now, my friends, these are simple questions, but they're not easy questions to firstly answer, and they're also not easy to then step into that place of transformation. So you're always watching out as you're exploring these questions. You're really staying with the body, you're really noticing the mind, and you're really becoming aware of your experience. Because for example, I might say to a client who's in a place of frustration, how do you want your day-to-day -day writing life to be and immediately they're like I don't know like I want it to be different I don't want it to be like this so you can sense they're still experiencing that frustration so again if you're asking how do you want your readership to be but you're noticing that the answers are perhaps tinged with a little bit of anger tinged with a little bit of like what's the point or tinged with the I don't even know. Again, this is really beautiful information because it's saying, here's the area that you need to do the work. It's not that you're not good enough. It's not that your work isn't good enough and, and that that's what's causing your lack of growth. It's actually this energy of frustration, this experience of anger, or this feeling of suffering, that's what's causing the slow growth or the frustrating growth, or that's what's preventing you from having results. So what's really lovely is we know that if we really focus on that inner work, we can start to create the shift. And that is going to solve the situation when it comes to making more progress with your writing or making more progress as you grow your readerships. So let's really bring it back and get clear about the learning. And I would love to hear from you in the comments as well. Like really just tune in and ask yourself, what's behind this impatience? So what is it that you're trying to solve by wanting to have something happen straight away? Is it a belief that nobody cares about what you do? Nobody cares about what you're writing? So you're like, oh, if I could sell 100 books, then I would, I would finally believe that people cared. So is it like, oh, I just feel like no one cares? Is it a feeling of like, oh, I just feel like I'm invisible. I feel like nobody can see me. So again, if I suddenly had a thousand more subscribers, I'd be like, yay, people can see me. So share in the comments below, like what's the flavor of your impatience? What is it that you're trying to cure by growing your audience quickly or by suddenly doubling your readership or by making un unexpected or unachievable progress in your writing. So then once you've been really honest about what that flavor of impatience is, then I want for you to start to inquire, how can you give yourself the, the antidote to that feeling? So if it is a sense of like, I don't feel like anybody cares, it's like, okay, how can you dig really deeply into you caring? Because it starts with us. If it's a sense of like, I feel like I'm invisible, again, it's like, how can you really do the work so that you see yourself? You see the completeness of who you are. Is it a case of like, 
I feel like nobody wants to read me. So again, it's like, how do you want to read yourself? How can you really remind yourself about what you love about your work? So you're flipping it. So rather than seeking to solve that impatience out there, you're coming within and you're asking yourself, how can I give myself what I'm asking for? Because let me tell you, my friends, that's when you will really create a shift in those external results. I find it time and time again, when I'm creating creating a piece of content, when I'm putting things online, when I'm engaging with my audience and I come from this place of contentment, that's when my content finds the most resonance with my audience and that's when I see my audience really, really growing. So I'm not putting something out there saying, hey, buy this, sign up for this. I'm simply putting content out there because I myself are really nourished and content and so I've created from that place and that then resonates with the people in my audience. So I want you to sit with this one and just really think about it. How can you actually come within? So rather than trying to take external action, which you feel frustrated about, is to really seek to give yourself what you need in this moment, to really tune into how you want your life as a writer to be, how you want your readership to be. Get really clear there, really seek to bring that contentment in, and only then you start to take action. Because what you're gonna find is you're gonna be way more patient and so the, the color or the flavor of your action is going to be entirely different. And that is going to bring you the results that you want. So I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. What did you get from this video? What do you have a sense of in terms of your impatience? And also, if you haven't yet joined the Write No Matter What community, come and find us. We're based mostly in Facebook. I do live interviews. I do live talks. And I'm sharing inspiring, fresh content that I don't share on my YouTube channel to really support writers, entrepreneurs, creatives to live the life of a writer that they really desire. You'll find a link to the free community below. We would love to have you join us. Great to share this one with you today. Wishing you a really beautiful week and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.